Now that we've talked a little bit about assignments, let's go ahead and talk about how to grade those assignments once they're turned in. So uh, forget about the days of lugging home your uh, backpack full of papers. Let's let Canvas do the work for us. So in this video, we'll talk about speed grader, um, the layout, and how to make annotations, comments within, and navigating the menu of options. So let me go ahead and click over here to Canvas. Okay. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a course that's already established. That way I can show you what it looks like as far as uh, when things are submitted. Um, but first, let's look at the dashboard real quick. Over here on the right hand side, we have our to-do list. So this will show any submissions that I need to grade for any course that I am enrolled in as a teacher. Um, so if I were to just click right here, uh, I would go straight into the speed grader and grade this assignment. But if I were to go into a course, that to-do list follows me, but now this to-do list shows only the assignments for this course that I need to grade, okay? From the dashboard, it's like global. From every course that I'm a teacher, I'll need, uh, it shows the assignments. But from within the course, it just shows these submissions from within that course that you're currently in. Um, now, again, I can go ahead and click right here and go straight into the speed grader to, to grade this assignment. Or we can come over here to grade. Now we're entering our grade book. And we have a, a breakdown of uh, our students, then uh, the assignments for this course. If I click on an assignment, I will get a breakdown of that assignment. And then I can go ahead and uh, click on speed grader. And now I can uh, go ahead and grade the assignment and view it. So um, here's the speed grader. Um, at the very top, we have what assignment we're currently looking at. We have 38 graded assignments out of 82 people in this course. The average grade is 100. And this is uh, the first assignment that I need to grade. Um, right here is the student we're currently looking at. If I click uh, left or right, it'll just uh, go from student to student. And if I click down, I will see a drop down of all the students currently in this course. If they have a, an orange dot by their name, that means that they have something submitted that I still need to grade. If their name is grayed out, then they haven't submitted anything. And then if uh, they have a green check by their name, that means that they have submitted and you have graded it and you have returned it. Okay. So uh, over here we have uh, the assignment viewer. So depending on what the assignment was, whether it was a Google doc, whether it was a, a movie, a file, whatever, this is where you're going to view the submission. Up here, you have a like an annotation bar where we can uh, we can zoom in. We can uh, use the annotation tool to uh, make comments. <clears throat> we can highlight, use the text tool, uh, the paintbrush to mark it up. Um, and then again, if you don't want anything, you can click on the trash can and get rid of it. Over here on the right hand side, it shows the, the time that it was submitted. Um, if uh, you allow for multiple submissions, there would be a drop down list showing uh, the various submissions by the student. Uh, over here, you have the submitted file. So they have attachments. If it's uh, more than one file, they'll be listed right here and you can open them. Right here is where we can go ahead and grade the assessment. Down here is the uh, comment section. So we have a comment from the student and then we can go ahead and reply back to the student. So I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, underneath the comment, there are a few buttons. So right here, if I wanted to attach a file to the comment, I can do so. If I wanted to uh, record myself uh, for a comment, I can do so. And then we have a text 
I'm sorry, a speech to text feature as well. So if I wanted to just speak uh, the comment, it will do its best to uh, turn it into text. And then I could submit that as well. So a few options. But um, this pretty much covers the speed grader. So it's really cool, okay? Forget about carrying home all those papers. Let your students submit. You can uh, go back and forth, mark it up, comment. It's a, it's a great tool.